somebody call the doctor because bad medicine is back that's the answer this is the appleton oak i'm mason quinn folks today we're taking a look at 2015's mission impossible rogue nation now i at some point have seen all the mission impossibles but it's been so long they all kind of run together so i don't know exactly what happens in each one so this will be a lot of fun for me i'm very excited it's tom it's mission impossible this is gonna be great uh yeah i believe i saw this one in theater with a uh, very own diamond dave damone that wanted me to see this so i'm definitely ready willing and able to see your reaction to this yeah this is the first time for me so the spy movies were never really my thing if this is your first one you've caught uh i did see the third one in theaters and i think i only went because philip seymour hoffman was in it <laughs> and i loved him again love tom cruise spy thing not my thing so uh i'm really enjoying the first mm -hmm. four so now i'm kind of regretting not having seen them so excited to see what direction our team heads in the fifth one so. i can't believe you let tom down but let's go ah, belarus that plane cannot take off with the package on it we're trying to cripple it remotely can if the pilot left the satellite uplink switched on package is on board what do you want me to do Oh, look at those. Oh, them props. The engines are starting. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Benji, you're connected. Okay, great. Uh, no. Hi, no. Alex. Okay, stand by here. Hey, 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 there's hey, Tom. Open the door. Maybe. Open the door when I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he in a suit and loafers? <laughs> Did he just <laughs> jump on the wing of the plane in a suit? There's something on the wing. Some thing oh uh, <laughs> you know what i've i think i've seen um some behind the scenes on this scene yeah this is yeah, pretty kinda, well known yeah it's just yeah very iconic yeah like in youtube like tom cruise's craziest like stunts ever yeah uh, yeah, yeah this is that scene yeah, right there there. Okay, okay. this scene the right fact here. he's really doing this yeah what the f yeah, this is real people. He's yeah. really, I mean, granted, he's strapped in in real life. Yeah, but still. But still. But what if the strap? <laughs> he's Tom Cruise. Like, what are you going like, to do? No, that, I wonder if that was actually him. Well, that no, right I there. Think, yeah. I think it, it, it was, was him the whole time. Yeah. Folks, help us out in the comments on, on this scene here for I Tom think Because I think that was still real. Yeah. Benji, not that door. The other door. The other door, right? Yes, the other door. Okay. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Sorry, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. He, he's trying to le read another language, yeah. guys. All right, look, I'm gonna open the power door. How's that? Just oh. kiss. Oh, oh. 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 He hit his head there. Oh my God. Yeah, that I didn't see. Oh wow, that was a weird scene. Yeah, those aren't good. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna yeah, run and get it. I, I just, I, I, that is mind-numbing to me that he would actually do that. Because mm -hmm. you figure they'd be able to do it like in a wind tunnel with some CGI or, yeah. or something. And Tom was just like, "No, nah. no, nah, we're good. I'm yeah. gonna actually hang on the side of the plane on a record store." Let me guess, classical. Jazz. Piano? Monk. I've heard stories. They can't all be true. Just oh, smile. Like, like an epic one-liner. Yeah. Just Come a smile. On. That's all Tom's got to do. See, you have to do that, too, to play my record player. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, it's very elaborate. Uh, all right, well, this is new as far as his... Getting his info. The weapons you recovered in Belarus were confirmed to be VX nerve gas. The shadow organization is committed to inciting revolution. Same shadow organization you have been tracking for the last year. Also known as the Syndicate team would be tasked with infiltrating and disrupting this terrorist network. More. We are the Syndicate. Oh, God. sh. Oh, no. Face your fate. Pursue us. You will be caught. This message will self destruct in five seconds. Oh, they got our guy. If you saw, he, if you saw he was in the booth next to him. Oh, I didn't catch that at all. he walked in. Here is the Kremlin before and the Kremlin after. 
I can neither confirm nor deny details of any operation. You really can't say much of anything, can you, Agent Brown? Mr. Chairman, the so-called impossible mission force is not just a rogue organization. It is an outdated one. The IMF has operated without oversight for 40 years. The events laid out by CIA Director Hundley also show a pattern of wanton brinksmanship. <laughs> wanton <laughs> brinksmanship. Like, the, they scour the dictionary for that. I'm afraid today is the day when the IMF's luck runs out. <laughs> is he laying? Is this just a weird? Like, I'm trying to turn my head to figure out what's going on here. Okay, he's standing up. Oh, that's never good. Nope. No, oh, just giving him some sugar water. Lucky rabbit's foot over there. Oh, well, at least you're not going to mix syringes. You don't want to give him an infection. Uh, so, you know, it's getting bad. She's taking Ooh, off taking, her heels. Taking the shoes off. She's going to enjoy this. Is it the old truth serum? Must be. Your soul or your heart. What does he see in you, I wonder? Who is he? Oh, unprotected oh. rib shot. Ugh. Oh, I need to take off the cuffs. And I'll show you, Vinter. You know who I am. Okay, I was, <laughs> I was wondering what that was for. <laughs> oh, oh that's it worse. Is. It's a kit. You're officially declared uh. dead. You'll die before you turn. <laughs> you should go. Wait, what is she doing? You should go. Ooh. It's going right with the big one. Oh, uh, that thing looks nasty. Oh! 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 Too <laughs> oh, <laughs> short. Oh, that oh. hammer! Oh! Ooh. Yeah, that'll do it. Oh! Oh! The crazy thing is, he in that sort of shape, he could probably actually do probably it. Probably could. Oh, the knee to Got him head. with a V-trigger. Oh, oh, there's the old Daniel Bryan. The old John Woo <laughs> drop kick there. Oh. Yeah, they're not thinking anything of it because they were working him before. Oh! We've never met before, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't stay here. We just killed those men. We didn't kill them. You did. You got away. You better hurry now. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> oh, oh. Got oh. <laughs> pretty lucky there. <laughs> Plus, they'd be deaf. <laughs> yes, yeah. Bravo, Echo, 1-1. One, one. Connecting. London Terminal is compromised. Repeat, London is compromised. Request immediate extraction. Who breached London? Do you have anything to go on? We wanted something. That information. They know who we are, how we operate. Start with Yannick Vinter. The committee has shut us down. I've been ordered to bring everyone in. We didn't have this conversation. I've disappeared in London. This man you saw, can you find him? I won't stop until I do. Uh, they are bigger on the inside. <clears throat> Ooh, he did get tagged. Oh, he did get hit. Needs to find a doctor. Where is Hunt? I don't know. Don't lie to me, Brandt. I believe that the Syndicate is a figment of his imagination, created to justify the IMF's existence. Ethan Hunt is living his last day as a free man. Oh. Six months. Six months. <laughs> Six months. He's living sure his last he day as a free man. Six months doing later. The, doing the Herschel Walker work out there. All right, everybody, heads up. Langley Brimstone, go. I say again, we are go. You are quite the team. Yeah. yeah Brant's looking nervous. <laughs> Hanging out in Paris. Langley, there's nobody here. <laughs> Langley Brimstone, face the north wall. Oh, they left him all, he left him all the info. Oh, there's this guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Benji. 
<laughs> Typical <Hey>. government worker. <laughs> Halo 5. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We've all been there, haven't we, folks? Do you bring up the spreadsheet to look busy? <laughs> no. <laughs> of course not. I don't know. What are you talking about? Clip. <laughs> State your name. The King of Norway. I'm actually third in line to the throne. My brother was... <laughs> <laughs> Hunters resurfaced, this time in Cuba. Tell me what you make of them. These are highly classified files, and yet Hunt had no trouble collecting them. <clears throat> he always seems to be a step ahead of us. Are you suggesting I'm helping him? Oh, the thought had crossed my mind. <laughs> Ethan Hunt is still out there in the field, and I am stuck here answering for it. We are not friends. Well, he passed. Mm -hmm. Are we done here? Hop Austria. a quick flight and from Langley to Vienna. Yeah, they have them all the time. If Simon Pegg was ever James Bond, that's your little preview. Just once, I want somebody to hand me some spy glasses. Just have someone just hand you. <laughs> Welcome to Vienna, Benji. Miss me? Oh. <laughs> Ethan, where are you? Where the hell have you been? Don't tell me that because it's just another thing I will have to lie about in my weekly polygraph. You have mail. I can't find him alone. Are you in? Are you in? Yes, of course, of course. You find him, we tag him. I follow him wherever he goes. Look at that architecture. Mm -hmm. Oh, that guy's got to uh, be up to no good. Uh, well, he was on, he was in the pictures oh, that he had. That's right. Good call, Oak. What's. Much of an inspection. What do you want him to do? Mm -hmm. yeah, at least give it a look. Give it the old uh, one-two play yeah. on there. Play. Maybe pull behind the uh, the, the fabric insert there. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> Just get in anywhere. Just hold it up. Oh, Come look at on. that. And have you ever been to an opera or an orchestra like that? I just in uh, just in school, just... elementary or middle or high. I don't remember which one. Okay, I have eyes. It's a way to make an entrance, I suppose. A little bit late for the party, <laughs> aren't you? See, if you go with the split collar, the spread collar like that, you got to have a really fat tie knot. Otherwise, it doesn't look right. Mm -hmm. Drop a comment if you've ever tried to tie a double Windsor. Uh, take the door on your left. He should be right in front of you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Crazy thing is he probably really did that too, you know? Well, he is an expert mountain climber, as we saw in number two. So. What is he an expert not? Well, yeah. That's true. Tom Cruise has got, like, everything figured out. Ben, did you see that? See what? What woman? Where are you? I can't see you. <gasps> that's that's our girl. Girl. I'm not sure I would have gone with a bright yellow dress to try to blend in, but... Maybe she's not trying <laughs> to blend in. Maybe if you try too hard to blend in, then you don't blend in. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> like an old, old Biff and Marty. Yeah. Old Biff Tannen and Marty move. <laughs> Guy looks mean. Oh, he's oh. got the eyepiece. There's our oh, villain. There's oh, look at He's got brown hair instead of. Wand. Oh! This <laughs> 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 guy's just waiting for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Got him! How many assassins we got in here? 
Oh, they got multiple. Oh, they got an actual laser yeah. laser on them. Ethan, do you copy? There's the flute. Oh, oh, that was got smart him move. in the shoulder. Yeah. yeah. And you get him wow. out of there. Really smart move. Get him in the shoulder. Yep. Oh, I would have never thought of that. Oh, go, Simon, go! Simon Field more. agent Benji. Wait, hey, look at that. Oh, it's just a scratch. Oh, he just grazed him. Yeah. Brilliant. I think they would have oh, that many police at a opera house. Well, if the head of state is there. Ah, uh, very true. Yeah, they probably. Yeah. yeah. I didn't think about that one. <laughs> Anything you want to tell me? Uh, no, not right now. What's oh, next? Nice. <sighs> oh, oh, that's a, a cool shot. That yeah, was. Shoes. Shoes, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a running theme with these two. I like the little touch of putting the tie around his hand for the rope burn. <laughs> <laughs> his face. I was just thinking, I'm like, why is that tie around the hand? And then I'm like, oh, God, that would have burned his hand. Oh. Oh. This guy's left nothing to chance. No. She tried to shoot me. It doesn't make her a bad person. <laughs> you have to let me go Oh, not a chance Saving your life in London put me in a tight spot I was sent to kill the Chancellor to regain their trust You thought you put him in the hospital? Take him out of harm's way One man to kill the Chancellor, the other one to kill you Second one I failed, thanks to you Tell me who he is You have everything you need to find me Tuck and roll It's a good thing that's a tactical dress <laughs> oh, she's got her shoes. He was on a plane to Vienna with tickets to the opera. Ethan's investigation led him to the opera. Finding Hunt is no longer a pet project. Whether Hunt lives or dies is entirely up to him. New identity. His passport cash move map to make it to DC undetected. Once you're there, you'll have to inform on me. At least tell me what this is all about. It's better if you don't know. <laughs> it's always better if they don't know, right? You recognize anyone? It's former KSA, German intelligence. He was at the opera tonight. The work of a single organization, the syndicate. Killing the chancellor tonight was a statement, the start of a new phase. I know the risks. More than that, I am your friend, so I am staying. And that is all we are going to say about that. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> Didn't expect it to go that way. <laughs> and how do we find her? She said we have everything we need. It's her favorite shade. Mm. Ah, the old lipstick flash drive. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodbye. Mm. You put two more gunmen at the opera tonight. One of them tried to kill me. Twice now, you let him slip away. Are you questioning my loyalty or my ability? Trust me or kill me. But if you're going to kill me, be a man. <laughs> oh. Calling him out. Oh. He knows about Morocco. He knows about the power plant. He doesn't know what's in it. Find him, please. He'll find me. Wait, what? Okay, who's on whose side now yeah. here? Oh, we got a little bit of the music. <laughs> 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 out of the way, sheep. <laughs> It's quite the place. Yeah, you're not kidding. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we old step up out of the pool yep. scene. Oh, shout out to her putting in the time at the gym. All right. How's Luther There's gonna help guy. out here? But couldn't you tell me over the phone? The Chancellor of Austria was assassinated. We believe that Ethan and Benji were there. We need to find Ethan before they do. Not interested. 
<laughs> Man, you don't have to worry about Ethan. This is the CIA. They're going to kill Ethan. They're going to kill Benji. We have to get to them first. Are you going to help me? Like one of the only like six dudes in the planet who can pull off a hat like that. Yeah, I was, mm -hmm. I was just thinking that. <laughs> Ethan is my friend. And if I have one second of doubt whose side you're on, <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> His name is Solomon Lane. He created the syndicate. He's former British intelligence. Why don't they just tell the CIA? They don't want anyone knowing the syndicate was created by one of their own. Pride. Yeah. Lane had a ledger. It contained the identities of his operatives. One of his agents stole it, hoping to blackmail him. He died being interrogated for the access code, leaving Lane with a serious problem. Our buddy, the bone, the bone guy. Yep. No patience. So why hasn't Lane just sent someone to steal it? It's impossible. Ah, luckily that's his thing. That's his middle name. Yep. It's Ethan Impossible Hunt. Mm -hmm. I can't tell whose side she's on. <laughs> Like, is she to recruiting him to do the to work for her? Gates. Like, one of those things? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Then she steals it from him. Mm. Well, that's easy. We just impersonate the agent who stole the ledger in the first place. Oh, a little bit quicker now these days. Oh, they showed the cool behind the scenes how they did this. Look at that. If you could make it through every other security measure, you won't beat the last one. These cameras actually know how the agent walks, how he talks, how he moves. Busted before we even get into the vault, and I wind up in a Moroccan jail playing mummies and daddies with Omar the Strangler. <laughs> <laughs> All security data is stored offline in the liquid cooled array. You mean that thing is underwater? Yes. yes. One of us needs to enter the tours and change its security profile so that the other one can access the computer without being caught. That's the only way. That's the only way. So I have to hold my breath for three minutes. You could do that. The more you exert yourself, the faster you consume oxygen. Don't worry about him, all right? All he has to do is... <laughs> <laughs> so how are we supposed to find Ethan and Benji before they do? I'm not even looking for them. I'm looking for her. Tell me it's possible to pull facial recognition off a sketch. For mere mortals, no. I could have done this at home. <laughs> <laughs> I must work remotely. That's my one uh, demand. How long is it going to take? Founder. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? She's bad news. Disavowed. Disavowed. Yep. See, I don't trust her. So let me let come. Whoa, what's that now? All right. No glass shards. How do you them shit? Benji, we're in. Hey, voila. Oh, I really like those BMW sedans. <sighs> Wouldn't be upset if one showed up uh. in my garage. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's one more getting time. ready. Yep. You'll have three minutes. Remember, conserve oxygen. Don't move a muscle if you don't have to. Oh, look at that. It's the longest you guys have ever hold your breath for. I don't care to find out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never like a kid playing around in a pool trying to see how long I didn't you have could. a timer, not three minutes, I'll tell you that. <laughs> that current will carry you to the Taurus. Once you're there, I'll shut it down. Profile is in slot 108. Uh, uh, oh. No, no. Uh, that's, uh -uh. that's no water park there. What if he was off to the side <laughs> like three feet? Gonna say, what if he just missed a little? All right, be cool, Benji. <laughs> nice. What's the problem? The cooling system's rebooting. Whoa. Like they're doing his heartbeat. It's all going too easy. Yeah. It's all going too easy. Oh, oh no. Oh no. All systems normal. Cooling systems at full power. Oh, he's got to go against that current. This is so cool how they're doing this. Oh no. Oh. No, no, no. No need no. to be nervous, sir, Benji. Mm. 
50-50. Oh, 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 <laughs> Tom's the kind of guy that goes to Vegas and can win at the roulette wheel. All right, now what? Oh, got to get through that. Got to get out. <laughs> God, the audio on this is so good. How they're doing his heart and everything. Oh, he almost had it. Uh, that's bad. Oh, oh, she did come she in. She did jump in. Just oh, happened oh. to bring along the old defibrillator just in case. Yeah. Difficult? Absolutely. But certainly not in... Oh, Jesus Christ. Is he all right? So what happened? What happened? Yeah. I misjudged you. Well, we're not oh. sure yet. Although this is a pretty risky move for her to save him if she just needed the data. Yeah. Energy. Yeah, Reggie. You did good. You take a moment, all right? Just, uh -oh. just take a moment. Yeah, we get it. <laughs> See? Oh. We're gonna nail that. Oh. Wait. Told ya. The old let you do the work for me and yeah. then I take it from mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Oh. Where's Hunt? He's dead. Oh, that really hurt. Look at this Rough Riders yeah. crew. <laughs> Wouldn't be Mission uh, Impossible without a motorcycle scene, yeah. would it? Whoa! Oh, she's got the, the Beamer double R. <laughs> He's so out of it. Busy. <laughs> 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 stairs, 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 stairs. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him in the background. This is your Simon say I'm gonna do a wide turn chase. there. You just had to get the four by four, didn't you? You want to drive? Look how slow you're going. Who's this guy? Oh, uh, that's not oh. good. I just like setting up this movie. Yeah, we're gonna need about fifty <laughs> motorcycles. <laughs> mm. About ten M5 BMWs, silver. Oh, oh. nice. The oldie. Oh. 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 Hang on. Oh. 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 It's probably one scene they didn't want Tom to do. Yeah. And here comes the four by oh, hair. All right. <laughs> I think it's a little out of hand. <laughs> Look at <Yeah>. Benji. <laughs> 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 oh hey boys what did i miss oh, oh they, so they, cool. the way they're shooting that he's gonna take that oh. bike right there no. just the way they yeah. shot no. that with that empty bike sitting there no. you knew he was gonna take it yeah. oh now we get a bike chase scene too he rides bikes so i mean you know he wanted this in there oh they got the knee pads. that thing over It was always my favorite thing about sport bikes was just coming into those turns. Just lean it over. Drop a comment if you could only turn sharp to the left and not the right. <laughs> I could not. I throttle? Couldn't, I couldn't lean right. <laughs> I could turn left sharp but not right. Whoa. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> Cutting her worse than jump scares here, this first person view. Oh. Oh. She just stands in the middle of the road. What a dirty move. Yeah, but her eyes tell a different story, though, don't you think? I don't know. I right, told me it was a dirty move. Well. So what do we do now? Please tell me you made a copy of that disc. Of course I made a copy. <laughs> wow. Well. Yeah. All right. Well, of course he uh, would. 
London. London. Who's this what guy now? This so-called ledger is authentic. I don't trust that hair. <laughs> Together, you're both compromised. That's his ultimate objective. This may be authentic, but there's only one person I trust to verify that information. You. The only way to pass is to go back. There are no allies in statecraft, Ilsa. Only common interests. This makes killing him decidedly less complicated. Are you ordering me to kill Hunt? Good God, no. Nothing so crude as that, no. <laughs> crude. <laughs> To regain his trust, you will do it. You see, there really is no choice, Elsa. Glad to know you're still with us. What a sketchy dick. Slimy. Don't ever trust somebody with that no. kind of front to back comb over. No, it's like, you know what, man? Ever. Just just get rid of it. <laughs> That's a red box. What? Triple encrypted. You're not getting into that thing unless you have fingerprints, retinal scan, and a voice phrase spoken by a specific individual. Prime Minister of Great Britain himself. Which means we have no proof that the syndicate even exists. I'm so proud of us. <laughs> <laughs> if Lane wants it, you can bet that he has a plan to open it. He's going to take the Prime Minister. I think right now, you're incapable of seeing that there's another way. If he wants something to happen, there is no preventing it. We we're going to warn the British. No. We're gonna find Lane, we're gonna get him. How are we gonna do that? Got a hit. Follow her. Mm. She'll take you right to him. All is forgiven. That isn't a ledger, is it? Well, why would I lie to you? So that I would lie to Hunt. Well, I'll be honest with you when you start being honest with me. Ethan Hunt is a gambler. One day his up will run out. Nothing here. It's empty. What a creep. <laughs> Has he got a panda on his shirt? Ethan. You just turned your job. Ashley said you would understand. You knew perfectly well it was blank. That's a lie. The disc you took from me was an exact copy, I'm sure of it. Was it in your possession the entire time? <gasps> oh, she said it on the newspaper. Atlee is slimy. If you live or die. What a sly dog. Mm -hmm. Didn't even tell her. Whoa, 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 that means Lane doesn't have the disc, only we do. If the disc was blank, why is she still alive? Lane, Atlee, your government, my government, they're all the same. We only think we're fighting for the right side because that's what we choose to believe. Mm. Yeah. The way I see it, you have three choices. You hand me and the disc over to the CIA. Works for me. But you know they're not going to believe you. Lane goes free. I'm afraid she has a point. You used the disc as bait to trap Lane. And being a gambler, you'll probably end up handing Lane that disc. An option three. Come away with me. Right now. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I've saved your life twice. I won't be able to do it again. What's the message? Oh. Oh, they got him. Parking garage. Luther, stay with her. You got a commandeer She's a car. Yep. I lost her. Well, to be fair, I don't think running is Luther's specialty. No. She knew this would happen. Only Lane knows what's going to happen. I have a job for you, even mission. Should you choose to accept it, oh. is to bring me the unlocked disc by midnight tonight. There's only one person on Earth who can unlock that disc. We have to take the Prime Minister. This is how we make everything right. Can you see? William Brandt, sir. It says it's urgent. If I'm going to betray them, we're going to do this on my terms. Keep your phone on. Instructions will follow. Should have been gone by then. Yeah. I can't see another way. But we do what we have to do for our friends, right? The, the fact that buildings like that even exist with that level of architecture mm -hmm. and they're that old, it's like, what the hell? Yeah. What does he intend to do? What matters is that he's alive. And I need your reassurance he's going to stay that way. <laughs> that's, that's, that's our guy from Pride and Prejudice. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, he's the prime minister <laughs> here. <laughs> These are the best potatoes I've ever had. <laughs> Your Stumble other daughter would way. do. Oh, <laughs> that's our guy. <laughs> you still believe you can control any outcome? Uh, <laughs> Stay with her. Chief Atlee, I have reason to believe that the Prime Minister's life is in danger. Chief Atlee, my sister needs to see you. He says it's urgent. 
<laughs> I can't, guys. I'm sorry. I, I can't. <laughs> Potatoes. <laughs> Under no circumstances is anyone to enter. Hunt is in possession of a virtual red box that can only be opened by you. He believes it is the key to bring down the syndicate. He couldn't possibly be talking about that syndicate because you assured me that that syndicate was merely an exercise. Uh. Does the name Solomon Lane ring a bell? It does. So there actually is a syndicate. These men have been duped by Agent Faust. Save it for the public inquiry. Hunt is uniquely trained and highly motivated. Sir, Hunt is the living manifestation of destiny, and he has made you <laughs> his mission. The deliveries of the lines in here. Oh, well, it's, it's Alec Baldwin. <laughs> it's like... Oh, we got our mask scene. Oh, oh my. That's the, that's the piece that Luther was working on earlier. Hunt, I hope you realize you've set back U.S.-U.K. relations. <laughs> I'm here. Stand by to receive. Ready. <laughs> <laughs> the Prime Minister's office asked me to meet him here. Retinal scan oh. confirmed. You've got a very warm hand. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're going to be like, oh, you just told us not to let anybody <laughs> in. Confirmed. If you can keep your head, we're not about you losing that. <laughs> you can trust yourself when all men doubt you. Oh, that's a lot oh, of cash. Oh, that was offshore. Hunley, what is this? Security. Kind of you to accept our invitation. We know you created the syndicate, but Lane went rogue and turned it against you. That's true. <laughs> when the prime minister found out about the syndicate Atley attacked him yes that's true <laughs> <laughs> and then you saved the prime minister sir i'm very grateful <laughs> i have what you want where do i go if i'm not there in 15 minutes he'll kill benji what happens ethan you can't make it back. I'll make it back. This disc gives you access to 2.4 billion. Oh, ooh. Sterling. That's a lot of Range Rovers. There's your buddy. Yep. Oh, no. Something's messed up with him, too. Yeah. Oh. Two pounds of Semtex. 30 caliber ball bearings. So no sudden moves. When Lane has what he wants, I kill you and Benji. You were certain we'd end up where we are. So was I. You need money. A lot of it. Fifty million dollars to let Benji go. Boom. Look at that. Fifty million, just like that. That's all it takes. I am the disc. I memorized it. All 2.4 billion in numbered accounts. Oh. <laughs> he memorized them all? <laughs> There's only one way to be sure. Let Benji go. Good thing it was just space bar. Yeah. <laughs> she just got kind of a little closer, huh? I come one step closer. Shoot me. Stop. <laughs> you want your money? The bone doctor's going to have to get out of me. They did a good job of casting some heavies to, to mm. be the henchmen. Ethan, friendless, you're waiting. Go. What do I do? Kill the one. It's about to go down. <laughs> oh, the old jaw clench. <laughs> hey, Becker. They're coming. We're not ready. They get ready. Oh, oh got him. God. The old penalty kick. <laughs> penalty kick. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Oh, 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 just once, I want to do a good roof slide. Maybe the three of us should try it after I this. We're all see too what heavy and we would damage <laughs> whatever, whatever hood we hit. <laughs> oh, right through the window. There's not a one of us at this table south of 250. <laughs> 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 Look at this shot. Oh, wait. oh, God. Oh. oh. 
Dang it. Said you wanted to see him face to face. There he is. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, got him. Got oh. him. Ah. Go. Oh. Yeah, that'll do it. That was creative. Oh. oh, now who's in the box? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's that cool. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> Just they're standing around him. Uh, there you go. Let Benji, lane. let Benji do the honors. Yep. Wouldn't those bullets be ricocheting? <laughs> I don't see them sticking in the plexi or whatever that so is. So if they're not sticking in the... I'll let it go. Oh, that was cool how he came up through the... Yep, just like Ethan did in the opening scene. Ethan, we gotta go. <laughs> They're on their <laughs> so Oh, I thought we were gonna get the old, uh, the old smooch. You know how to find me. Director Hunley, how do you explain your testimony today? The syndicate had infiltrated our government at the highest level. <laughs> <laughs> The whole operation was known only to myself and a handful of IMF agents. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why you're here today, asking for the IMF to be reinstated. That is correct, sir. And you, Mr. Brandt, how can you justify this deception? I can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> Welcome to the IMF, Mr. Secretary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a banger. Oh, wow. You know what? That one this banger. was a banger. Yeah. All since you didn't see it, you go uh, ahead. Since I, I'll first. start off because I haven't seen this yeah. one before. I, You know, I really enjoyed the first four movies. The first one kind of had this nostalgic throwback, yes. like almost comedy in a sense, like the tech they had. Yeah. The second one, I... I the, the, the cinematography of that and the way they shot it, I know answer was like, how many times do we need to see Tom Cruise in slow motion? Well, they took that out, it would have been an hour Just long Just one movie. more. Um, <laughs> but, you know, and then, of course, we had Philip Seymour Hoffman, and then the last one was, uh, you know, was was great. But this one, to me, is has been the best so far. We had a great storyline. We had phenomenal action. Um, we had just a, an incredible cast as always. Sean Harris yes. just plays such a, a, an incredible mm -hmm. bad guy. And like, look, that's one of the things that's been really cool about this this series is like the first one, you know, the bad guys kind of whatever. The second one, you had your super stereotypical, yeah. almost like a mirror of Ethan. Yeah, like, like your super stereotypical. Then the third one, the third one, of course, Philip Seymour Hoffman. I mean. Just amazing. They've done such a good job. I don't even want to say good. An incredible job of casting in these films. Which look any I, I, just at this point, anything that involves Tom Cruise, you know, is going to be quality. There's a handful of actors out there that it just seems like everything they do. Your Harrison Fords, um, your Denzel Washingtons, you know, the actors like that, where you just like know. That anything they do is going to be good, like you know, Hugh Jack, Charlize Theron, uh, <laughs> Tom. At <Hardy>. this point, <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence for me. Like if it, Jennifer yeah. Lawrence is in it, you know it's going to be good. Scarlett Johansson. I mean, there's there's just you know if we go back how many you know years you have your Sean Connerys. There's just <sighs> actors where Tom Hanks. You know it's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> Jingle all the way. <laughs> but Tom Cruise is one of those actors. So, and the reason that I put so much emphasis on that is because it, it almost, when you say like, oh, the cast was so awesome, it's just to be expected. But this movie, we had, uh, we had the chase scenes with the cars. The motorcycle chase scene was yep. absolutely incredible. I mean, so the action, the fighting, the choreography, um, Tom Cruise doing that and, and help us out in the comments. And I'm, I'm going to look it up. So doing his like kick out when he was tied to that pole that was cool yeah so crazy but i guarantee he did that himself um Oak will be trying the, that in the gym on the, Monday. the plain thing for me is is just that's next level because look i know there's a lot of dangerous stunts in hollywood but that one is like 
something goes wrong. That's your lead. That's that's your life. Uh, and I'm all the lead of the movie, but it's also, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. You know, with the jeez. <laughs> well, well I there goes your movie. Oh well, my God. Yeah, well, it's true. You know, he, an icon and yeah. Tom Cruise. But uh, I mean, this one for me was was the best. Uh, again, uh, acting was good. Action was great. I loved the plot. Mm. It gave you just they, they all do, the other thing that they do is such a good job is it's just enough levity, just enough comedy, yeah. right? You know, mm. and when they that have the, the prime minister being our guy <laughs> from from Pride and Prejudice, <laughs> Tom um, Hollander, Tom Hollander, and then the like just that little comedy. Yo, you saved the prime minister to Alec Baldwin. <laughs> Thank you. Know, you. Alec Baldwin played his character well. Yeah. I mean, this was just a home run. All the way around, such a fun first watch. Now, how many do we have? We what do we what do we have left? So this is five. We have Fallout, and, and then, then we have the, the two uh, new ones. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so there's only one more. First new one that's out. Yeah. One more that's already out, right? Or there? No, the uh, uh, the uh, number seven is out, I believe. Okay, it, it is. It's like yeah, it's out now. But for, so yeah. uh, you know, when I, I talked a little bit in the intro, and and I think you know, I've had you know you know people mention like oh you haven't seen those movies and like and to be honest i haven't seen i think i've only seen one or two of the bond movies and it was just something about like the spy movies that that just i don't know like i just out i just didn't like get into the spy stuff as much that's you know good. when i was going to the theaters more i was more like your your like action action type movies and and i guess I completely missed the memo that these spy movies were are like, also also action like super super best action. action movies like well <laughs> oh, didn't get the memo no. but no this this one was great for me guys so i mean it's you mason quinn yeah. you said it had been a minute since you watched yeah. it. yeah it had and the thing with when you have so many movies uh i don't want to say they blend together but it had been a minute since i've seen all the Mission Impossibles. I mean, years and years since I saw this one. And I remembered the motorcycle scene and uh, the chase scene because it was so iconic. And, of course, the airplane. Oh. But what I liked about this one especially was uh, Sean Harris's role as the villain. Oh. I thought was really good because I didn't really care for the villain in uh, number four because he almost seemed like he wasn't there. Whereas what I liked about Sean Harris and fantastic casting because him as a villain, what I liked is that he was like very plain if it didn't really like stand out like if you wouldn't pick him out of a crowd he just looked like a guy he wasn't like the villain with like a big scar on his face or an eye patch or a big huge muscular bulking guy he was just a very plain guy that would that would could be easily infiltrated didn't stand out and i just i love that almost like a ghost you know nothing there and the little ticks that he had like he would get irritated and his eye would twitch i mean I, kudos to him being able to do that on on scene so i thought him as a villain really mm -hmm. elevated uh, this this movie in that it gave us somebody to really dislike. And the twists and turns and how even the good guys had their secrets that they had to keep and how they, the, the British government started the syndicate and then tried to, to hide it or disavow it. Just so many twists and turns. I mean, the stunts that they did, the, the innovation of going underwater for the computer to switch things out for Benji and how they always oh, get us yeah. down to like the last oh, minute. God, I mean, I, such innovative the heart, stuff. The heartbeat during yep. the whole time he's doing it. Yeah, that was really good. The, the musical score was outstanding. Simon Pegg brings that perfect amount of levity and it's almost comical to see Simon Pegg as a field agent like in the beginning when he was in the opera <laughs> right. throwing some punches at the guy and stuff it was like Simon Pegg this is our guy but I did want to give a huge shout out to Rebecca Ferguson mm -hmm. for all the stunts and everything that she did while having to do it in what I call a, a tactical dress in, in the beginning because she got herself into phenomenal shape for this I mean she looked like she was like professional CrossFit or something in this and uh, the stunts and the way they did her fight scenes you know uh you know, so many times you'd be like, okay, there's, you know, a 120 pound woman taking on the 225 pound soldier, whatever it is. But the innovation of the, how they implemented like the UFC style of fighting and how she was with yeah, the it, knives and the grab it, it, it works. It worked. Mm -hmm. It didn't look, you know, over the top, you know. And I even liked how Tom tried to do the, and I'm kind of bouncing all over here with the fight scenes, but I like how Tom tried to do the front kick to the the big guy when they were, they were on the, <laughs> on the scaffolding. It didn't even do anything because how many times have we seen in a movie somebody does a front kick and the guy goes it's through flying. a door? He should have did a know? kangaroo kick. Yeah, so that was, I like, and again, you pointed with the levity, Oak, how that was really fun in this. But, I mean, this is what made the Mission Impossible movies Mission Impossible. The, the, the pinnacle of action and just enough realism 
to where you're like, well, I, I suppose if a yeah, person right, trained right. well enough, they could pull it off. But uh, yeah, this one was a lot of fun. Uh, I just I can't wait to get to the the two new ones because I just know <clears throat> Tom Cruise and company delivered. <clears throat> well, how long is, do you have any idea how long it's been since you saw this? Uh, I know I saw it in the theaters and uh, maybe a couple times if it was on like HBO okay, or something so back in the day when it first good, came out. It's been a yeah, good five but because because uh, oh, yeah. Dave was At like, least. we got to go see this in the theater, so him and I went to the theater and sure. I, I wasn't sure if I had seen four or <laughs> and I know they I hadn't seen like three or two. They blending so. together because even like talking and talking and like you know before we started shooting this one today talking we were going over like some of the plots for the first four and it's like okay like you know and i can you know break them down especially the first one stands yeah. out but you're like wait a minute did that happen like yeah. you know. and two or, well, two or three? well two you just have to remember he has long hair yeah, yeah. And, yeah. but uh <laughs> ben Stiller the third, third one he's the third one he's he's married you know and then the fourth one she appears at the end uh, uh how, but yeah with this one does. too it, um like you mentioned, Sean Harris. What I liked is just that his nice, his voice was like this. He didn't, yeah. he didn't come off like I'm gonna get yeah, you like a, and this and that. Like a just, dude in Ant Man, I was yeah, yelling just, at me. The yeah, whole time. well, that <sighs> that still made you just as angry at him. But yeah, just him, just being nice and calm like this. And then the twitch when he saw things weren't going precisely his way, and just he just seemed so cold hearted. But then also like we were saying where you don't like the spy movies, well, you're a big fan of like, you know, Arnold and Sly and them. Yeah, they weren't doing spy movies, nor would they be able to pull off spy movies. Right, well, right. I mean, granted a little bit in uh, True, True Lies. Lies, but it's like, dude, yeah. you're standing. There's yeah. no way. Okay, you're 6'4", chiseled. <laughs> yeah. You got to be up to something. <laughs> you stand out a little bit. It's yeah. like The Rock wants to play Bond. Yeah, it's sorry. Sorry. Oh, yeah. the six foot guy. Could he be a threat? No. <laughs> no, no. I guess, I guess yeah. that was kind of just my viewpoint to spy yeah. movies. But, but, is like you know, but I. Well, well because way until wrong. well, because then Pierce Brosnan became you know James Bond. It's like you didn't. I didn't see him as being a James Bond before, and I mean, and I have yet to see the James Bond. Maybe he crushed him. Same with Daniel Craig. I wouldn't have pictured Daniel Craig to be like this top operative spy badass but then you see the movie you watch him and it's like all right yeah you can see it yeah well they and, have to be unassuming and blend exactly in. and and it works so so with this you know tom is just you know just tom so you know he, he's he's dreamy and everything so you just gotta be like <laughs> I, mean, I mean i mean this guy I mean, couldn't possibly do anything to us look yeah, just it's look gonna at him. work yeah. and then next thing you know forearm to the snaz and you're out but uh the action obviously was stepped up the plane scene was just amazing and then i remember just actually not too long ago i saw how they did the mirror trick with the putting the the mask on it's just all it was is they just had a frame there so they had the stand-in for rebecca looking and then they had tom start it and then he appears on oh, the other side with the right. actual guy just going like this and tucking it in yeah. a little movie magic that was cool. and i swear to god i watched it like five six times i'm like what well wait how are they when did they do the switch yeah, on what <laughs> yeah, was it? and then you, and then you watch you watch it on the movie itself and it's like wow it just looks just as freaking awesome you gotta watch like frame by oh, frame it is by just frame. the way just the way and it's it's practical it's not like they did too much smoke and mirrors they just yeah. had tom run around you know and it, it was just amazing and yeah this is this was really really good so yeah i think now we can yeah. get to our score i also thought the uh i thought the addition of alec baldwin was was really good too even though alec he, had, baldwin was, oh. he, he had some limited scenes i mean what did he have maybe 10 minutes of screen time yeah something like that yeah, but his, but he, his role that before he we go to scores i just wanted to, to just um mirror mason quinn sentence uh, that sentiment on Rebecca Ferguson's oh. fight scenes, because we see it in movies a lot of time. And look, it's not just females fighting men or females fighting females or men fighting men. And I've mentioned this before because I'm a former martial artist, and you can you can Bergen. tell people who just know how to fight, yeah, know how and to they're throw natural a punch. Act athletes, and people who like had to be trained up a lot for the movies and i know you can't always tell because sometimes these you know we've seen uh, people work for six months or a year mm -hmm. on their martial arts skills but sometimes it still comes across as okay here's an actor that was trained to fight you might be oh how do you tell that and it's like yeah you can you just kind of you can kind of you can kind of tell maybe it's not somebody who was a martial artist but sometimes people who are really pure athletes you know jason statham was a diver yeah before so i mean just you know, divers i know people think like oh they're diving into water like no they, they're like at that level they're crazy athletes 
and her scenes they didn't like you said they didn't try to show her brute forcing yeah. these guys because sometimes that it's really unbelievable and we have seen that yeah like in fast uh, some of the fast movies <laughs> yeah. we've seen it yeah. in other films where they either have people who are very outsized or, or females mm -hmm. and it's just like okay and they did it here with tom too where he did the front double yeah kick. And it's so, just nothing yeah. but rebecca's fight scenes were so well choreographed she used a lot of submission stuff mm -hmm. a lot of you know joint uh, manipulation things like that her quickness and i thought like i thought her character was done really well again not anything that i wouldn't expect from these movies now but something that you want to highlight because we have watched movies and again whether it be a female fighting or a, a very small male where it's just like they're just dominating and you're like, eh, it feels weird. Or you have somebody where it's like, okay, that's not, well, it's a Hollywood punch. Yeah. She nailed it for me. Yeah. So I, kudos to her. Yeah. So. And, uh, and Tom, I don't know how old he was when he did this one, but he was in phenomenal shape as well. I mean, those couple just, of opening oh, scenes. Just always ripped. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, for me, again, it's been so much fun going back through these movies with all of you and with these guys. So for me, Rogue Nation nearly, or I'm sorry, not Rogue. Yeah, Rogue, yeah, Rogue, Rogue Nation. Nation. <laughs> See, I'm getting them confused. There's well, so many. Yeah. Four point nine five, five, number five out of five answers. Nearly perfection in this. I cannot wait to see how they raise the bar uh, here going forward. Just outstanding. Yeah, the action in this, you know, everything was ramped up. The plane scene, you know, that was pretty much a steal of the show. And what was amazing is they decided to put that in the first, you know, five minutes. Yeah. Right. Not not a build up to it. First five minutes. Um, my favorite, uh, you know. It edges out the first one yeah. with a 4.85 versus a 4.8. But, yeah, it was really well done. And, you know, like you said, you wanted to see see some type of movies like this in theater. Well, I did, so I think that also enhanced yeah. it. This one for me was my favorite of all yes. of them so far. Mm -hmm. Not just my favorite from an entertainment standpoint, like if I'm really breaking it down and trying to be analytical, which – we watch a lot of movies, but I'm not a pro. But in any regard, I had 4.9 written down that I'm like, you know what? Uh, that airplane scene. <laughs> Gotta like, go. That's well, worth see, a 4.95. I, I, I can't I go. I did an E5 because, you know, there's another one coming up, so you I never know if it gets yeah, even I better. I can't go quite perfection because, like, I've left the – I don't know. There's something about, like, a – like, I have to feel yeah. a five, <laughs> Okay. Right? Okay. Like, I have to – okay. it has to make me – feel something and it's hard to give like an action movie like uh just like a five because they don't like pull on you like uh like some of there was action in shawshank uh Sha <laughs> the bench the be although i will say guys i will say like shawshank and like coco are like, yeah. like two totally different type movies yeah, they're there. but i would have never thought like what's your benchmark shawshank <laughs> Poco, my new, and then my new jingle favorites. all the way. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> oh man! So there we go. We got five down. Couple more to go. Yeah. I mean, there's a total of eight, but this is five. We'll be able to see six and seven yet, and yeah, then we have to wait. wait. And we gotta then wait. We have to wait for eight. <laughs> oh, no. oh, it's gonna be a long seven one. Seven part two. Yeah. Right? Well, if you want to, yeah. If you want to oh, have fun with right. it. So for Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm of course the answer. Good night, pals, and we'll catch you on the next Mission Impossible.